The Greater Hickory Cooperative Christian Ministry began 50 years ago. We started off with just a few services. Throughout the years, we have expanded, and we continue to look for the way to holistically approach our neighbors. We might see 2,000 in a month. They may need health care. They may need financial assistance, pharmaceuticals, clothing, which we can provide for them in, the, in our 31 Thrift and More store. We also have um, a variety of different assessments that they may need to help them get out of the poverty situation they're in. Our clinic provides primary and specialty care for people who have no insurance or who are 200% or below poverty level. As many people that come in here to get help, I don't think people realize how many people need it. You know, it's not always medical care or financial help or a thrift store voucher. I mean, it's, they want somebody to talk to and they want somebody to love them. I have a medical condition of have epilepsy. I was at a very uh, depressed state. CCM, they, they helped me. When I would come here, they would just always have a smile on their face and it would make me actually feel happy again about myself, that there is somebody there that still cares about you, that they may not be family to you, but they feel like family. It means a lot that I work here and I've been here for 10 and a half years and to see the growth of some of our neighbors in the lobby going from uh, on the street to their first home, it's just, it's just amazing what, we, what good we have done for folks to help them. My son's son needs glasses, so then I filled out the papers for the medical. And then he had a toothache. So when, you know, just one thing happened after another, especially having three boys, and you're struggling, and you're trying to make ends meet, it's one thing or another, and just come here, get a little bit of help. What CCM did for me was give me hope, and it, it is all about hope. I'm a father and a husband, I have six kids. About four months ago, I had an accident. I dislocated my, my middle finger, my hand got infected, and I've been, I've been out of work for four months, and uh, it's kind of hard to, to protect and, and care of family with many kids that I got. That's when I came to this, uh, this corporation right here. They really helped me a lot. I've been coming working here uh, volunteer because the things that they've done for me, I will, I will never pay them back what, how much they have for me. All the money from the thrift store goes back into GHCCM's ministry. And so we're proud of the store and what it's doing for the community. So that's uh, a big part of why we're here. When we were looking at remodeling, we wanted it to be a place where people that needed to come here had dignity coming in and where it'd be a place for people that did not need to come here that they would want to come. And we think that we've achieved that. When you purchase $6 in our store, that can buy around three prescriptions. And our pharmacy here at GHCCM dispensed a value of $14 million in medicines last year to neighbors in need. The more we can get out, the more they can sell, the more we look things over and see that they're in good condition and we can put a price on them and sell them, we know that all that supports the ministry. We approach it holistically and provide the, the care that they need, how, whatever that may look like. As they're trying to get to that next step in life, they keep running into barriers. Through those barriers is what helped us evolve with the whole Life Center. We have services that will be provided in there with our community partners. When we meet our neighbors for the first time and figure out what it is that they need, we can actually do a warm handoff. There are an array of services and community agencies who collaborate on a daily basis. Um, but sometimes it's difficult to go to each and every one of them. And so we're trying to access those services in a very innovative way by having like a one-stop human services area where we'll have partner agencies and staff members rotate um, weekly to actually come to our whole life center and provide those services. Since we have acquired the Whole Life Center, I have been able to um, be a part of expanding our uh, program in the education department and wellness. 
The Charlie Cart is a mobile teaching kitchen and it was originally designed for um, the purposes of teaching students and children how that they could learn how to cook. We are going to be able to use it here in the Whole Life Center so that we can teach neighbors the very basics of kitchen safety, cooking, uh, planning healthy meals, and being able to preserve the foods that they grow or foods they purchase from the store or the farmer's market. A lot of people come here, they're being, being referral referred from um, a church or another organization similar to us and they just come for food or they just come because they need clothing, a pair of shoes or it's simply they just need a shower and that's the beauty of our ladies at the, at the neighbor engagement team that we start talking to them like they're neighbors not as like you just need a shower okay here's your towel how are you doing today what can we do for you today and they start open up they see us as friendly people and that we care and that's the huge importance of this department. We show that we care, we open, we take the time to talk to them and dig a little bit more. We are really focused on the nutrition of our neighbors and as they come we start asking questions. You need food? Do you have any special needs? Are you diabetic? Are you allergic to something? Um, do you have heart disease? And we start tracking that information to be able to give them what they need for their health. CCM is a starter kit. It's not uh, every day you, I'm going to be bailed out of something. It's up to you to finish it. And I really appreciate the love that they have for other people and how much that they help them. The love given from the community here at CCM was enough to keep me pushing on and not giving up.